Hello again, I'm Ramiz, the developer of Avocado. I've decided that I will create a series regarding how to, to create 2D platformers. I'll show you how to draw 2D characters, how to import them to Unity, how to rig them, how to do animations, and finally how to do some basic controls regarding the movements. Before we get started, I would like to inform you that my game Avocado is on sale on Steam during the winter sales. You can get the game for 50% discount. Now, my game is a 2D emotional action platformer where you travel and search the galaxies seeking to recover your kidnapped soulmate. Of course, a free demo is available so you can check the game. In today's video, I will show you how to draw your 2D characters using Photoshop. I'm not an artist, but I will share with you the techniques I'm using to create my characters. In today's video, I used a concept art created by Fully Illustrated, so I give all the credits to them regarding this concept art. I will be using only one tool, one of the latest tools in Photoshop, it's called curvature pen because it stimulates the pressure of a pen since I don't have a tablet I'll be using only the mouse to create this art create new group name it helmet and add a new layer inside it name it the outline the curvature tools allow you to lay point then control whether they are a curve point or a corner point so let's lay our points to shape the helmet outline to change from what type of point is the current point you can double click on it to convert it from corner point to curve point creating this helmet requires six points Three points will be corners and the three other points will guide the curve between them. Once you're happy with the helmet shape, go to the brush. Make sure to select the hard brush and set the size maybe to 5 pixels. Then go to the brush settings and check the shape dynamics. Then from control select pen pressure and set the minimum diameter to 40% then click back on the curvature pen right click on the outline select stroke path and set the tool to brush also check stimulate pressure then click ok you'll get a nicely drawn line with different thickness stimulating the pen pressure so it's at some point thick then it gets thinner as you're drawing then create a new layer and place it beneath the outline name it main color or fill color from the color picker choose a light gray then right click on the path fill path with the foreground color then you can delete the path to create a new path for the light areas. Start laying the points again. Don't forget to double click to change the point from a corner point to curve point and vice versa. Also you can delete a certain point by clicking on it then hitting the delete button. And of course you can undo any step if you made mistakes using Ctrl Z. Once the path related to the light area is ready, click Add a new layer, place it above the main color and name it Light or Highlight. Then right click on the path, fill with the foreground color after change, changing the gray to a light gray from the color picker, of course. Delete the outline and now let's create the path that will shape the dark areas or the shadow areas. Again, once the path is ready, 
change the gray to darker grade of gray from the color picker then right click on the path fill path with the foreground color which is the dark gray make sure you create the new layer that named shadows before you fill the path with the dark gray then you can lower the op opacity of that layer to blend nicely with the layers beneath it then add a new layer name it details in this layer we will create details like the helmet edge and some scratches on the helmet draw a line to form the lower edge of the helmet then change the color to black don't forget it to dark gray also you can lower the brush size from 5 to 3 also lower the amount of minimum pen pressure to 40% then right click on the pass stroke pass delete that path then start creating random tiny paths on the edges of the helmet which will represent a scratches on it each time you draw a line a small line just right click on it stroke pass and repeat the process till you get uh, nice looking scratches and finally you can fill the lower side of the helmet manually with a darker grade of gray as an extra detail then I got our logo and used free transform to place it correctly on the helmet to, to go to free transform uh, click ctrl and T buttons to free control a point you need to click control on that point for example the top left edge and the bottom left edge keep changing that till you're happy with the results then press enter to save the changes double click on the empty area to the right of the logo layer to go to the layer style check the color overlay style and pick a dark gray color now the helmet is ready I'll be repeating the same methodology to create all the other parts of our character so we'll be, we will be outlining filling uh, drawing the shadows then the light then placing the details so I'll be fast forwarding enjoy watching
Once the character is ready, make sure that each body part on a correct layer. Then save the file as PSB Photoshop big file. Create new Unity 2D project. Then make sure that you install the 2D PSD importer. After you install that, just drag and drop the PSB file of your character. Then drag it to the scene. As you can see, it auto created all the layer required and the character is ready to be rigged and animated. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are interested in learning how to create 2D platformer games, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so you get notified when I release the next video in this series. Till next time, see you soon and thank you for watching.